the largest group of union nursing home workers ever to lobby at the Washington State Legislature arrived in Olympia to protect nursing home services for clients and workers. I spoke with workers from around the state. Here's the report from Olympia. Nursing home members are following in the footsteps of home care members who organized to win health insurance, pay time off, and wage scales in Washington. What we're really wanting to see in our nursing home is a wage scale. So people that have worked there two, three, four years are making more than people that are just walking in the door. Through lobbying efforts and advocacy at the workplace, nursing home members said that they will win gains for all nursing home workers across the state. Rosaria Tafoya from Eagle Hillcrest Nursing Home said that she came to Olympia to talk to her legislator about the dire need for nursing home funding. If they start cutting, it's going to hurt our elders, and not only our elders, it's going to hurt our families, because our children, as a matter of fact, they depend on our work. And if they start doing cuts, that's going to affect our children and our elders, most importantly our elders. Think about how, much you, how many people you represent as far as your family is concerned, 2,200 brothers and sisters, and think about how many residents that is that you're representing. Your task here is very important today. Make sure that they know that you are from their district. You're voters and you live in their districts. You may write a letter, you may call them, you may do an email, and they don't know what you look like. But you tell your heartfelt story to a legislator, and they have to put a face to that story, it does make a difference. Benita Campbell, a nursing home aide from Avamir, Tacoma, says that residents can't cope with understaffed facilities. We will not be able to provide proper services and proper help to our clients because we won't have enough staffing. We won't have the funds to meet their needs. Uh, they'll be affected in many ways, including their meals. We won't be able to feed them properly because they'll cut the budget for the kitchen. And uh, we'll lose hours because they'll cut staffing. It will affect us totally, the staff and the residents. Home care provider and executive board member Denise Wallace drove to Olympia from Everett to underscore that long-term caregivers must be united and work together for our residents, our clients, and our jobs. So as home care workers, we've stepped up our pay scale. So we, as we're there longer, we make a little more money. Um, we also want insurance. And nursing homes have been kind of stuck, you know, and they're also, their ratio is not good. So there's a high turnover. P people leave because they get overworked and they're, they're not getting even an increase in wage a little bit. So they need to be brought up to at least the level where we are. And then we all need to fight together to keep moving forward after that. It's important for us to stick together because there's more power in home care and nursing homes sticking together because it's the same field. Our members did not come to Olympia just to stop cuts. They also came with solutions. Alicia Fletty, a new member from Vancouver, told her legislators to raise revenue. We want the legislator to raise the budget and uh, help with the safety net, uh, bring it up to its max 15 million, and also to uh, raise the revenue. Well, it would definitely put more staff on and uh, provide better care for the, the residents, obviously, and also it would uh, help with the poverty level that we are, are at being healthcare workers there, you know. After speaking with more than 30 representatives, many members like Donna Peak, CAN at Pacific Specialty and Rehab Care in Vancouver, said they will leave Olympia with a renewed sense of strength and unity. And I think that, you know, we just need to try to work together and find out a solution to all of this. Not just us, we need legislators, we need residents, we need everybody to be involved in the um, solution process. If you want to take actions to hold legislators and your employer accountable, call our Member Resource Center. Pilate.